I've been with the Lee County Sheriff's Office now for about four years. I'm on the selective enforcement team, and we basically go out and we help the detectives find wanted individuals. Uh, we do a lot of proactive patrol. Uh, we go out and we find drugs and take drugs off the streets, take bad guys to jail. Uh, I really love the fact that every day is different when you come out here and, and do your job. All right, so we're gonna pull this vehicle over. It looks like the tent is a little too dark. I'm just gonna see what's going on with them. 428 be on 7th Street, East 7th Street and Joel. It's a black Honda Accord. Hello, how you doing? Hello. Yeah, the reason I stopped you, man, it looks like your window tint's a little too dark. You mind rolling your window up about halfway for me? Right there is good. Right here on 8th Street. All right, yeah, the front window is too dark, man. It can't be lower than 28%. You got your driver's license? No, I'm sorry, I don't got no license. Do you yes, have sir. anything with your name on it? Where's my, where's my license? Shop? I didn't bring anything with me. Can you turn the music down for me, please? But I'm gonna have you hop out of the car for me real quick if you wanna just turn it off. Turn and face the car for me. Put your phone down. Thank you. I'm just gonna put you in handcuffs right now. You're not under arrest, okay? The reason I'm doing this, all right, I can smell marijuana coming out of the vehicle. Do you have a marijuana prescription, like a registration card or anything like that? No, sir. No, okay. What was the last time you guys smoked in the car? Honestly, just right now. Just right now? Is that why the smell and all the smoke is coming out of it? Yes, sir. Okay, do you have anything on you? Any marijuana on you or anything like that? Okay, where not, is it at? Not, not on person, but on okay. the vehicle, yes. All right, how much is it? It's a lot. It's a lot, okay. Okay, is that your son in the back? That's my brother. It's your brother? Okay, how old is your brother? Hey, how old are you, man? He, he's underage. 12? Please don't question him. Okay. He's underage. Have you ever been arrested before in the past for anything? As a juvenile. They charged me with uh, burglary and criminal mischief and grand theft. Okay. And um, yeah, that, that was about it. I did my time. I, I finished probation and everything. Okay. All right, why don't you come back here for me, please? Thank you. I'm gonna search the car. Go ahead. Okay, there's nothing else but the weed, right? Yes, sir. Okay, just have you, you can turn around, lean up against the car. All right, so you can obviously smell the marijuana coming out of the vehicle. Um, driver's being honest, he says he's got a lot of marijuana. We're gonna see how much a lot is. in the back seat in a uh, lunchbox. We got ooh, THC cartridges. <sighs> All right. We got one jar, two jar, three, and four. Alright, you got one for me. Damn, these bitches got hard as f Yeah. Got it? Oh boy. Yeah. Oh right. boy. See how the rest of it is in the trunk? Alright. Is that a vacuum package? Yep, vacuum package, marijuana. Alright, we're gonna read him his rights and see what he's got to say. Let me read him real quick. Okay, man. Your brother, how old did you say he was? He's 12. 12. Okay. How old are you? I'm 21. Finna be 22 next month. Okay. All right. Um, what's up with all the weed, man? Uh, it's all personal use. It's all personal use? Yes, sir. Like, the four giant baggies in the back are for personal use, all sealed up like that? Yes, sir. Okay. Coronavirus. <laughs> Stocking up for the coronavirus? Oh, uh, yeah. All right. Your brother in the back seat didn't know anything about it? No, sir. I mean, he's I sitting there right him, next to it. I told him it was my lunch for tomorrow. He, he's not nosy. Okay. He didn't know anything about it, though? No, sir. Uh, were you, weren't you guys smoking in the car, though? Yes. Personal uh, use. Was he, in the, was he in the car with you? Yes, sir. You know that's contributing to the delinquency of a minor? Yes, sir. That's probably not a good idea, though, right? Right. 100% right. All right. 
You don't have any warrants or anything like that? No, sir. No? Okay. All those THC cartridges are technically considered a felony. Each one of them, you know that, right? Now I know. Yeah. All right, give me a minute, man. Yes, sir. I think you haven't counted anything, weighed anything? I haven't anymore. weighed, counted, nothing. All right, let's go back to the district. Room. But he admitted to everything, all of it's his. Says it's all personal use, but... Yeah, yeah I know. It's a lot of personal use. Yep. Um, we'll have to talk to the wife here in a second and see what mm -hmm. she says. Okay. Good job, man. Yeah, absolutely. Ma'am, what's your first name? Nadia. Nadia. All the weed in the car, did you know anything about it? Okay, you didn't know that there was about a pound of weed in the car? No, sir. No, nothing in those jars. You didn't know anything about it? Okay. As of right now, he's going to be placed under arrest, okay? For possession of marijuana. All right? Um, it is your car. You are free to go. Thank you. Okay? Sorry this had to happen with you. Have a safe mm -hmm. night. All right, he's gonna be taken down to Lee County Jail for booking and processing for possession of marijuana and endangerment of a child. I've always known that I wanted to do something in law enforcement. I just wasn't sure what. I got a bachelor's degree, I became a probation officer, did that for 10, 12 years. Uh, I enjoyed it, but I wanted to do the other side of law enforcement and I wanted to be on patrol. I wanted to investigate crime, so. Uh, I've been with the Colton Police Department for about a year now, and uh, I really enjoy it. Um, it's great people here. The city's great. Uh, we get action. So um, I really enjoy working here. I'm going to stop this uh, vehicle here. She didn't have her seatbelt on, and she has a cracked windshield. So I'm going to stop and see what her, uh, what her deal is. 10-4. Hi, call police, how are you? I'm fine. You don't have your seatbelt on and your windshield's cracked. Ready to keep out the um, chip, okay. Okay. And I just got my car back from it. Found they stole it. So okay. It came back all like this. I barely got it back. Okay, where was it stolen from? Um, San Bernardino, food for less. Okay, when'd you get it back? Um, on about the 24th, the 25th, and okay. I just got it running again. I just got it, um, the engine fixed well, on it. I'm glad you got your car back. Yes, thank you. Is it registered to you? Yes, no, it's registered to my son. Your son? Okay. Do me a favor, just uh, give me your license registration and proof of insurance, I, please. My, my license is expired. You Why know? are you driving then? Because the coronavirus thing, I, I have to, I just came from work, from the flower Where shop. Where do you work at? I work at Allen's Flower Shop in Highland. Okay. From Mother's Day, right now. Okay. And I had to get there, you know, and my okay. cancer expired because of the coronavirus thing. I can't go to court. For You're that. a mess, aren't you? I, Can I get your, I um, give me your ID or license, something with your name on it, please. Probation or parole or anything? No. Ever been arrested? Yes, in 2005. For? Um, sales. Sales? Yeah, okay. back in the day. Anything illegal in the car we need to be aware no. about? Any pipes, weed. needles? Smoke weed. Smoke weed? Yeah. Anything else? That's it. Okay. How many years did you do for that? Um, two years. For sales? Mm -hmm. That was the first time I ever Ooh. went to jail. They Whoa. Took, they sent me straight to prison. So there's nothing illegal in the car? No, there's not. You mind if I take a look? Go ahead. Okay. You can just, is this, is this how you keep your door secure? Well, cause I just got it back and just- Okay, let's, let's undo the thing or however you- We have to come into this side. You gotta crawl out? Yes. All right, go ahead. And you have nothing in the car, no paraphernalia? No. You sure? Not that I know of, nope. Not that I know of, it's your no, car. I, I know, but I don't think so. Are I these your pants? Yes. Okay. <laughs> go ahead, spread your feet. Anything in your bra? No. I'm a good girl now. You're a good girl now? Yeah. All right. Just hang around with some bad boys sometime. All right, just have a seat over here on the curb. Just hang out right there, okay? What was your drug of choice before, Rosie? Oh, before meth. Meth? Before. How, how many years? 10 years. 10 years? Yeah. I just hang around people that do it still. I smoke weed only. Marijuana. I love marijuana. Why you lying to me, Rosie? Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, dang. Anything else illegal that I'm gonna I find? I don't think that was mine, though. It's not mine. My boyfriend was right here at the Circle K right now. He's not in the car right now, is he? Nope. We're fighting right now. I took off. I left him there. Oh, okay. I'll smoke weed in there right now. And a little mess. Not me. Oh, yeah. Yesterday, I found a ring in my boyfriend's backpack. All right, Rosie, so what we're gonna do is, uh, I'm gonna arrest you for this pipe. Are you, I'm gonna, Yeah, I'm gonna arrest you for this pipe, but I'm gonna sight release you. Oh. 
Because you've been semi-cool, but I just don't like that you're lying to me. Oh, no, I didn't. It's not mine. If I, I thought it might I know this is it. yours, okay? I was with my boyfriend behind so okay. And right now we just argued and I left. Listen, it's just a ticket. It's fine. I, I know, you don't, you don't have mine. to like... I smoke weed. Okay. I don't smoke meth. I smoke weed. Okay. I used to. Okay. I'm fat. I don't smoke meth. That don't mean nothing? Yeah, it does. I don't smoke meth no more. I'm, I'm not lying to you. Okay. It just... is in my car, so it's my responsibility. Hang but tight. I'm going to cut you a citation for being an unlicensed driver and for possession okay. of uh, paraphernalia, okay? Thank you. Can you just hang out with her, please? Ay, ay, ay. All right, so what I'm going to do with Ms. Rosie is cut her a citation for the uh, possession of uh, uh, paraphernalia. Um, this is the second day in a row that she gets stopped by us. Um, this is a, a lifestyle that she's living. Um, she's not going to stop. She's been doing it for a lot of years of her life, so um, she just got caught tonight. When did your license expire? In January. But I was about, and then the tag just expired last month, but I can't get them online to I pay like my insurance tickets that I have. I got insurance now, but I can't go to court to show them. How much them. are the insurance tickets? A thousand dollars. You know how much I owe from you guys? Like five thousand dollars. How many tickets is that? Four or five tickets. But I finally got insurance now, and I can't go show the court because I can't go to court, so I can't get my tags. So I keep getting pulled over, and it's like sucks. All right, Rosie. So just like we talked about. Um, I'm giving you a citation for possession of drug paraphernalia and then being unlicensed driver, okay? Technically, if I wanted to, I could tow your car. I know you could. And you can pay another $900 to get it out. Yeah. <laughs> You've been doing this way too long. No, I'm getting better. I'm getting better, though. I you am need to stop better. using dope, Rosie. I don't use dope. I smoke weed. You'll That's see it. Me again. You're going to pull me over again, and you'll see that I have no dope. And I'm going to find another dope pipe, no, just like they found dope pipes yesterday, Girl, just like I found they today. They find dope. They found a broken dope pipe, and they found a rig. The rig was in his backpack. Okay. Go ahead, sign right here. And your court date's not till uh, October, okay? Dang. I'm sure I'll see you around, Rosie. You are gonna see me. In a, I, I, you can put me over and say hi. And arrest you again? <laughs> no, not arrest me. I don't have nothing illegal. All right, Rosie, take it easy, okay? I know all the cops around here are cool. <laughs> they, wouldn't let, they wouldn't let me go with the warning. No, I'm just kidding. Yeah. All right, Rosie, have a good Bye. one. Thank you, I appreciate you. Bye. Your, your, your niceness. I'm sure we'll see Rosie around a lot more. So you're almost every day. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Recently got into uh, remodeling uh, houses, especially my own house. I um, started doing that, and uh, I, I found a niche for it, and, and I like it. And if I wasn't a police officer, I, I'd probably be uh, doing something like that, you know, buying and flipping houses, remodeling for a profit. All right, we're going to a verbal disturbance right now. Um, the complainant is advising that her daughter, who's 38, is throwing water on her um, and not leaving her alone. There she is outside. How's it going? What's going on? I went in to take a shower, right? And I came out, the TV was on the Spanish channel. She took the remote. Mm -hmm. She would give me the remote back. So I unplugged the cable in the garage. If I'm not going to watch TV, you're not going to watch TV. Mm -hmm. I, maybe I shouldn't have done that, but, you know, I mean, I didn't do anything. All I did was take a shower, come out. I just wanted to watch a little bit of my And when you're sitting there watching sitcoms. TV is when she came with the water? No, she, yeah. Okay. And I was talking to my other daughter on the phone, and she just threw the water at me. Okay. All right, let us go talk to her if you want to just hang out here. Yeah. So, what's going on? My mom moved to Naples. I'm on the lease, okay? She wasn't supposed to come back here. They had no place to go and let her move back in. It's my mom. Since she got back here, she don't like the changes that we've made to the house, pretty much. She's been, you know, pain in the ass, okay. okay? Today, she had a fit with my daughter. And got, they got into an argument over something. I came back, tried to defuse the situation. I took her to get something to eat. All right, so I what happened here? Back. Right. I came back. I looked for her. I went to get her. Tried to, she was sitting down. I'm like, Mom, get into the vehicle. She smacked me in my face. I didn't do anything about it. That's okay. my mom, okay? So we came back here and it was all drug out. So she's alleging that you threw water, so can we just verify that you didn't? I didn't throw anything. Can we go inside and make sure that there's nothing wet in there? Hey, where did she throw water on you at? Right here? I was sitting right here. See, the she was wet, she threw it right here. Did you feel that? What happened to your cup of water that was on the uh, table? Don't 
Hold on. I didn't have a cup of water on the table. You did. Let me see that again. And, and nobody saw this? Nobody what? Did anybody see this? See what? See? Her throwing water no, on No. I okay. was sitting right here. And I'm, I'm wet here in the chest. This chair is so wet here. Where? Where I'm wet here. She's sitting out here. Just start that about the TV? It's or? about us putting a sheet on the couch. It's about us bringing the extra pans out into the garage so that they're not up underneath the sink. It's right. about everything. Right. So, I mean, did you throw water or did you not? No, I, mean, it's, it's... I did not throw water on her. Okay, so she's just lying. I didn't throw she water. She is wet, the seat is wet. I didn't throw water on her. Your daughter like heard I her say, you know. Her cup was sitting there until you guys got here and then all mm -hmm. of a sudden it disappeared. My cup has not moved from there. All right, let's go inside. I'll grab my phone that way we can verify with your other daughter and then we'll come back and talk to you, okay? All right. Mom. Yeah? Seriously? You mind if I look around the house for this cup? Hey, this is Deputy Perez, Fasco Sheriff's Office. There was an argument between your mother and your sister, correct? <laughs> yes. Did you hear it? Were you on the phone? I was. And what happened? Um, she locked my mom in the garage and shut the light off and locked her in there. And she said she was going to kill my mom's dog. And then I was talking to my mom, got out of the garage, and my sister threw water in her face. Did you hear that? I did hear that. What did you hear? Um, she told my mom that she needed to get the F out of there. She threw water in her face. I kind of heard, like, I don't know like splashing, my mom was wiping her face and asked her why she did that. And I told my mom to just call the cops. Okay, so you did You did hear that? And my sister was in the background saying that she was gonna tell the cops that my mom slapped her in the face, but my mom didn't touch her. Okay. All right, I appreciate it. I'll call you back if I have any other issues, okay? All right, thank Bye -bye. you. I did not throw any water on my mom, I am telling you. Okay. Well, Delina, at this point in time, get on up. Get up. Get, get, sir. get up. Get up. I'm Turn going around. to jail, guys. Wait, da, 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 da. Stop. Stop. Just stop. Why? Because stop. mom's a liar. This is uh, not right. She smacked me in the face. She slapped you today? Yes, she did. I have a witness. She was the one that went to go pick up my mom. Maggie is a witness to how she's been acting today. I was right there. Hey, look, we're going to come up. We're going to come talk to you in a minute, okay? This is ridiculous. I know. We'll, we'll come and talk to you. Can you have her leave my house? She lives over there. Give us a second. Look, we'll, we're going to be back. We're going to talk See? to you again. I just See? want her out of the house. See? Hey, stay away from each other. Hey, you don't even live here. So, okay, so get out of the house. We'll talk to you outside in a second. All day long. This is what I've been dealing with all day long. Your sister, right? She's kind of saying the same thing that your mom said. She kind of heard the water splashing. My sister hates my guts, just so you know. Okay. So what were you going to say? She's always been like this. Yeah. The mother? Yeah. Ridiculous. They choose to live with each other, so I mean, that's that's kind of the, the thing, so. Yeah, I know. It's petty, but it's domestic. Isn't it? It's, it's domestic, and I wish they would have figured it out before calling us. Because that mother can't figure out anything by herself. She has but obviously to have... they didn't, and then we have to do our job, and we uh, it is what it is. You have and... to do what you have to do. So, I mean, next time, hopefully they can figure it out without calling this us. This is ridiculous. And, you know? OK. Thank you, sir. So, Right now, she's gonna go to jail for uh, domestic violence, um, you know, due to splashing water on the uh, on the mom, and you know we have probable cause to arrest her for that right now. That's where she's going. Yep, off to jail. Uh, I've been with the sheriff's department for about seven years now. Uh, most recently, assigned here in Murrow Valley. Uh, growing up, I didn't always want to be a cop, even though my dad was in law enforcement. But as I got older, became an adult, I decided it was kind of a calling for me, and I couldn't imagine myself in any other profession. Uh, we're gonna check behind this uh, old shopping center here. It's a common place for a lot of drug activity, a lot of transients hang out here. Uh, so we're gonna see if anybody's hanging out back here and see if we want to stop and talk to them. 95 on a bike stop. Oh, never mind. Just had a guy dip out on a bicycle. I'm gonna try to catch him out front here. That's him, right? 95 on a bike stop. HMA, Paris and Indian. What's up, dude? Why are you running all crazy like that? From the back, now you're on the front. What's your name? 
Edgar. Why are you all huffing and puffing, bro? I'm having a bite. You got any weapons on you? No, sir. I'm going to patch it down real quick, okay? Hold on. Over there? I'm going to patch it down real quick, okay? okay? Turn around for me. Turn around. Relax, 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 relax. You on probation or parole or anything like that? Yes, sir. You are? What are you on probation for? Can you just give me a minute to breathe? Hold on, dude. Sir, sir. Relax. Please. You're on probation, right? Okay, yes. Can I sit down? I'm not going to... I will. Do you relax, dude. Yes. Come over in my car. Relax, relax. Face the car. You're on regular probation, right? You got to check in everybody. You're not supposed to, to break the law. Wait, can I just talk to you? Like... Sure. What's up? Talk to me. No, without all that bull****. What do you mean? Let's like, talk. Can I, can you can I, talk to me, dude. Okay, well, can we do it like man to man? Yes, man to man, dude. Hold on. What's up? Let me finish patting you down. Okay. You got nothing. Relaxed. What you got in your pocket here, man? Insulin. Insulin? Got insulin diabetes. That's a lot of meth. That's not good. I know, sir. Have a seat right here on this, on this right here. Thank you. Can you help me? Yeah, sure. What's your name? Edgar, sir. And what do you want to talk? You say you want to talk man to man, right? Yes, sir. That's okay. What's up? It's been bad for me these last couple, couple weeks. Trust me, I regret like what I'm doing, like this, like using the gun. Like it's not cool, you know what I mean? But it's the only thing that I could do to like. How can I say? Like, like everything that I'm going through, they like, just like numbs it out. Like, mm -hmm. You've been trying to get clean or what? Yes, I've been trying to get clean. So. How long you been clean? <sighs> Um, How long were you clean before you started using again? Like three days ago, and before that, when the last time I got out was uh, April 16th, I, re I got released, and I've been clean ever since to like three, four days ago. April 16th, you got released? Yes, sir. And you've been clean since then, but three or four days ago, you what? I started using again. Is that when you bought this, three or four days ago? Yes, sir. How many times have you been busted for dope? Second or third. Second or third time? Look at me, look at me. When did you use? Like about like two days ago, th not even like a day ago. Who's your probation officer? Officer Knight. Officer Knight? Yes, sir. Okay. All right, give me one second, okay? Just sit tight right here. Yes, sir. Uh, he's on probation. Uh, we'll find search in Edgar's pocket. He had some methamphetamine in his pocket. So he's supposed to go back to check in tomorrow morning. Uh, been clean for a while, just uh, started using again two or three days ago. Code four, one detained. Edgar, Edgar, since we're being upfront with each other, okay? You said you wanted to have to talk man to man, right? Yes, we're being we're being fair with each other. Yes, sir. It's weird to me that like I saw you in the back and then you, you took off, be landed out here on your bike. It's, uh, I don't have no brakes, so I mean I was going really sure. fast. And... But then you're right next to this car here, and oh, you got to. The you gotta... car, the car, they were just. Be honest with me, dude. Like, if you're slinging, you're slinging. No, I'm not, I, I don't have no money on me. I don't have nothing. It's a pretty significant amount of dope, bro. I, I know, but I mean, I, I don't like to... You know, the more you get, the cheaper it is. You know I mean? I'm not... Yeah, you're buying quantity. Yeah, it's like Costco. Like, yeah, I don't like to do all that. I already got busted for it. I'm not trying to do it again for sales. You know what I mean? But you're, you're making some pretty bad decisions at this yes, point, right? Yes, I am, sir, but I mean... It's, you got a probation for dope. You got dope in your pocket. A significant amount of dope. Uh, I know, but I mean, I'm, I'm not selling it. I'm not doing nothing dumb. I'm just getting high. You know I mean, just to numb the pain away of everything that I'm going through. Just like stress relief. If I if I cut you out of here with a ticket, what's gonna what's the keep you from saying, yeah, I'm gonna stay clean for a while and I'm gonna keep going to what I'm doing? I mean, I got I, I don't have nothing else. You know I mean, who are you staying with? Uh, my mom and dad. Your mom and dad know you use? Uh, yes, sir. Are you really trying to get clean? Yes, sir. As you can see, like I'm back. Yeah, clearly. They were happy before. Um, I started using again, and I've just been going through a lot. Like, um, my parents don't know that what I've been going through. And... I get it. You're trying to stay clean. Times are hard with all this corona stuff going on. Jail's probably not the best spot for you if you're trying to stay clean. I'll tell you what. I'm going to give you a ticket, OK? Are you really a diabetic, man? That's what that's for? Did yeah. You, uh, can you use methamphetamine on top of your insulin? No, sir, I do not. As you can see, my bracelets. Yeah, I saw your, I saw your yeah, bracelets. I do. Does he take insulin too? Yes, sir. Stand up for me, okay? I'm releasing you with a citation, mm -hmm. okay? Because you tell me, and your word as a man, that you're going to call your probation officer, explain everything. Mm -hmm. well, with this COVID, I don't think the jail's the best place for you. No. Next time, it's going to be the best place for yes. you. Yes. Okay? 
So you're being charged with the possession of methamphetamine, and you're going to go to court on the first day of August, of October 2020. Okay? I'm going to take your handcuffs off, and you're going to sign the ticket, okay? Okay. Make sure you call your probation officer, because I'm going to call him. So it's your chance to do the right thing. Talk to your probation officer. Get to a program. I'm going to stay clean, okay? If this happens again, man, you're going straight to jail. I'm not going to be so nice. I'm currently assigned to CCAT, which is the Coachella Community Action Team. And uh, we go out and we do follow-ups for uh, patrol investigations. We're closely with the investigators and write warrants and try to close out the calls that the patrol officers take. We don't generally respond to patrol calls, but if some of the priority pops off, we can go out there and help them out. And we're a pretty busy team. Five young four or five Clifford Plate. Yeah, he's walking around. It's your eyes, your eyes only. Don't move your head, okay? I'm nervous when you guys have to get it. No, don't be nervous, son. I know it's a little bright. Okay, you're not feeling fast. I wasn't trying to. I wanted to see if you could catch me. That's it. Man, that cost me a freaking night in It was funny because he thought you could catch me. I laid down for him. It don't matter. It doesn't matter. Handcuff me. Thank you for the night's sleep. Okay, what's going on? So, a suspicious person call. They're in the bathroom for a while. She said they're acting strange. We're talking about front. Uh, I did an 11-5 eval on him. I was going to take him. I'm walking him over to the car to search him and put him in. And this guy takes off running on Sensio. So I haven't finished the search, threw him in the car, and we went and got him. Okay. Uh, what's this guy's deal? And then uh, this guy's on uh, parole. He's got a stun gun on him. So. And, uh, just the back, so the back side of the dirt over here. Uh, he went around this way and then hopped the wall and got him in the dirt field. So okay. he, uh, since he says he dumped something going around the corner over here, we're just trying to find what he dropped. Okay. Thanks, Sarge. Essencio. So it was out right there. I mean, the interview is really going to come down to it. So if you want to collect that, and then he might have dumped more over there. So it looked like it had like some residue from maybe heroin on it. He had a baggie. In a baggie? So we haven't checked we it have yet. A, we haven't checked it yet. Okay. So it looks like meth? Oh, yeah. Yes, sir. Okay, cool. Ready? All right, let's walk over here with the car. What's up? Can I get a big whoop whoop to the ass, Eddie? All right, have a seat for me. Over there, so lock, lock them up right there. Good. Get your legs in there. Yeah. All right, watch your head. And nobody's outstanding, right? No, it's just these two. And we're going to medical check him out just because the guy is under the influence of meth. Uh, so he's going to JFK, right? Uh, so, I believe so, sir. Okay, so I got him for 11.5. I don't know if I'm be able to do the blood draw since he's going to the hospital, but I got him for uh, possession of meth, possession of heroin, and the syringe. And this guy's on parole. He ran right there. He's got the 148, plus we'll call his PO and uh, get him violated. And then uh, he's got this stun gun on him. So obviously he's a felony he's not supposed to have, so we'll take care of that. Any uh, injuries to anybody? No, everybody's good. Good job. Thanks. I'm working graveyards, uh, working at night, and I like working at night because the, there's less traffic, cooler temperatures, allows me to be proactive. One of the things I like to do is get guns and drugs off the street. Working at night allows me to do that. It looks like there's a car, it's broken headlight and some TC damage on the front of it. Get in your car. Harrison Ferg, get back in your car right now. Sit down. Put your hands out the window so I can see them. Just make sure you don't have a gun. Uh, I don't have a gun, sorry. That's all right. Just over here on me. Okay. Sorry. Okay. Relax for me. All right. I'm pulling you over because you don't I have a headlight, headlight. And your car is currently smoking. Yeah. It was overheating and uh, when I hit the bump right now, that's why. Okay. So you didn't pull yourself over or just because it's overheating? Oh, no. I pulled over because uh, when I hit the bump, I saw the light go out and then it was overheating. Okay. Do you have a driver's license? Uh, actually, no, I don't. Uh, mm -hmm. Can I take a look at that rope? No. Do you have an ID card? <laughs> yes, I do, sir. Can I see it? Yeah. Do you normally jump out of a car uh, when right the cop now, pulls you right over? Because of what happened, yes. Okay. <laughs> I'm a mechanic, so uh kind of figured when it starts smoking. Uh, okay. Let's do this. Step out of the car for me. Oh. With your ID in hand, step out of the car and face the car. I'm just going to detain you for now, all right? That's fine. I appreciate it. Hands behind your back. Uh, you can put it on the roof. I'm gonna detain you right now. You're doing a lot of weird behavior right now. I know, and I don't, I've never met you before. I know, I know. Do you have anything on you I need to know about? Oh, never been handled. No, sir. Why do you have broken glass on the front of your window? 
Honestly, uh, I don't drive it. It was just an emergency kind of thing. Okay. You have broken glass because you don't drive it? I'm sorry? No. Where are you coming from, man? Uh, my buddy's have right here in Riverside. Right here in Riverside? We're in Reno Valley. Well, right here in Riverside. Come on over I'm here. from Riverside, I'm sorry. You if see you, how the dirt and yeah. then it's been wiped? If you hit the windshield wiper right now, you'll I'm, see the exact same thing because it doesn't wipe off the dirt. I know what you mean. So, I know so what we're, you mean. So we're, uh, we're caught up on that. Yeah. So how did the glass get on top of your windshield wipers? Honestly, I don't I have no idea like I can say. Honestly, uh, I bought it like that. You bought it with all that traffic collision damage? Uh, like, not with the glass on the mirror and all that. Okay. I'm sit on the curb for a second. Did you hit something before we got here? No, no, no. <laughs> I kind of find it sketchy, too. <laughs> What's sketchy? Like everything that you're seeing that you pointed out. <laughs> I'm glad we agree on that. No, the, the, when I pulled out, like, <laughs> How much you had to drink tonight, man? Honestly, I had uh, two beers probably like an hour ago. Two, two beers? Yeah, two more mm -hmm. He's got a lot of front-end damage to his vehicle. Looks like he just got into a traffic collision. When I stopped the car, it was actually smoking still. Uh, he said it overheated, but... It looks like he uh, crashed into something. It smells like alcohol in this car. Well, he did say he had Modelo. And it's a Modelo. Very possible he fled from an accident. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Stay standing. Don't fall over on me. So you bought the car with all that damage, huh? Yeah, I bought it for my buddy when I used to work at the shop in Whittier. I bought it for a thousand bucks. Take a step to your left. I want you to sit in this car. Watch your head getting in. I've been in one. Slide backwards. Hello, on the passenger seat. This is what I found. I'm thinking he may be snorting. Snorting? Yeah, this baggie uh -huh. and that open straw right here was on the driver's seat. And there's some white powder in there. He said crystal. But... All right. Fun. Okay, this is the little test I was telling you about, okay? Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. You got it, you got it, you got it, you got it. Right there almost. There you go. All right, remember what the legal limit was? Uh, 0 0.8. 0 0.8? That, uh, that's very uh, high blood alcohol like content. Really it's 0 0.08. Okay. All right. 0 0.106. That's over the legal limit in the state of California. So, yeah, I all right, at this point in time, I'm under arrest. you're under arrest for driving under the influence, okay? As well as the methamphetamine that was found in your car. There was some? Yes, there was methamphetamine in your car. Right. Juan, can we talk about what's going on with the car? Yeah, I hit that car. I hit that car. Not because I was drunk, my brakes didn't grab. Is that where the glass is on the front windshield? Yeah, I hit the car. Okay. Well, why'd you, why, when I first th was talking to you, man, why was all this story about the overheating? Come on, officer, I'm, I mean, all right. Here's off my shoes. Why didn't you just stay and then call us? I wish I would have. And then what's the deal with the meth? I found little straws in there. Yeah, it, Are you, did you snort it? Yeah. Okay. Is, you think that maybe played into your driving no. ability? No. No? No. The, honestly, I, I crashed into it because my brakes didn't grab. I don't know why they didn't grab. Okay. Uh, I don't know why I chose to hit that car, but it was the easiest option I found. Hey, look, I appreciate you being honest and telling me the truth, but you're being charged with driving under the influence, hit and run, and possession of methamphetamine. My partner's just located a car in a front yard. Um, it's right down the street here. Let's see if we can help him out. This is gonna be your legal owner right here. Okay. I guess it's dad's car. And normally it's parked where your vehicle is. And you can see uh, the passenger side tires are gonna be up on the sidewalk. Oh yeah, I see the striations. Pushes this car into the driveway of this residence. There was a witness there, it was gonna be a black SUV. 
but yeah, that's what we have stopped. Perfect. So I'm born and raised in uh, Las Vegas, Nevada. I've been a officer out here. I remember uh, when I was a small kid, I always used to see the uh, Crown Vicks, the black and whites. And now that I've been a police officer and coming up on three years, I enjoy my time. Every day is uh, always something good. Um, right now, we're going to be headed to a uh, possible stolen semi truck. Uh, they're giving commands to the uh, semi truck driver. And they're uh, not going to We have five units arrived now on scene. You got hands? Who's got hands? He's got hands. Go I'll go passenger. Yeah. Now, okay. now we'll go ahead and put your hands on top of your head with your fingers crossed. It's time to head out. Get in the house. I still got one in that car, Paul. I, I can't see the passenger. So. Pull him out of the way. Pull him back. Whenever you're ready again, boy. 3 vc 11 We have one in custody. We're challenging the vehicle. Occupants of the vehicle, put your hands up. Please, if you're in there, come on, your hands up. You got a sleeper cab. You got a sleeper cab, so it's going to be deep. John. The owner, the owner, John. I'm doing the repairs on the rear, uh, the cables for hey, the rear. How do you pronounce your first name? Angel. Angel? Yeah. Okay. You have your ID in your uh, back pocket like here? Back pocket. Could you go grab that for me? Yes. Okay. Sword it out. Over here from right here in front. Hey, you've been arrested aside in the state of Nevada? Uh, yes. For what? Uh, possession of drugs. Possession of drugs? I have court tomorrow. Okay. All right. What do you do hey. for work? I'm a mechanic. That's what I was doing on the truck. The gentleman called me, uh -huh. John, the owner on the truck. Uh -huh. I have his number. That's the last phone call that, 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 on Are my phone. phone. Yeah, you're welcome to check. OK. The trailer brakes are broken. I'm supposed to take care of that. OK. Yeah. And how long have you known this gentleman? 10 years. Seven years. Seven years. OK. Yes. So he told you, yeah, I need you to get to my truck yes. fixed. OK, where was the vehicle at? From the location of the shop. OK, so you picked it up from his actual shop. Yes. And then what happened? Where were you going? I was I was supposed to be going towards the semi trucks at your house. I, no, I usually don't. But I mean, uh, for him, I've been working on this stuff for a long time. How long have you been a mechanic for? Forty years. Forty years. Yes. Okay. Has this ever anything like this ever happened before? I n no. Never. Have you ever had multiple cops give you commands to step out of a car no, or something never. like this? Never. Okay. All right. We'll just wait for the uh, registered owner of the vehicle to come over here and okay. get some more information, and we'll go from there. Okay. okay? You can go over here. Tell me what's going on. So this gentleman, is, he attempted one, I mean, forklift, like furniture, everything. Like So he's taking things from? Four times he, 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 he did it. He did it. OK. I found the forks. What, let's, let's talk about today. All right. So this is him? No. Yeah, my wife, he went to my house. So to me, was sus suspicious. I see him. He's right here on the side. Yeah. He's pretending like he's looking for somebody. He's going behind it, like checking the trailer, and then disappearing, OK? So do we have him actually leaving your lot? Yeah. OK, can we see that? Yeah, yeah. So he, he didn't set the brakes. He, That's I don't why know, the tires are dragging? Yes, I, I, I don't know if he knows how to drive truck. You see how it's making marks? So hold on, let's stop there. Okay. At any point, did you clock in today and say, hey, I need you to come fix my truck because the, the no, lines sir. are no. messed up, or, no. or hey, I need you to go take no, this? Sir. No. OK, and how do you know this gentleman? This gentleman used to fix my car in 2016, and he was fixing my cars. But he's doing shady business, and then I just pulled What do you back. mean by shady business? He, he will say, OK, I fixed this, and it's not fixed and charging me. So I felt that, and I said, you know what? I'm not going to deal with him. Is he allowed near the warehouse and things like that? No. Is he, was he fixing other things, no, too? No, I have a report, and he have cases already against me. All right. All right, man. Have you ever had any other interaction with this gentleman? Only thing, when I check my record, I, it shows some kind of burglary, but I have, there, there's no date, there's nothing on there. I just checked my record and it was okay, but on there. Okay, but I'm asking no, you, no, have no. you had any other police no. contact with, with the gentleman no. back there? Never. No, 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 I, uh, regarding nothing, we never had The no cops problems. have never else been called? Never. Ne no. Be honest with me. The only thing he has, he has I'm, my... I'm trying to give you benefit of the doubt, man. Just, I, just I be 100% real I, with me. So were you supposed to go to the warehouse today? Yeah, well, I got his, his, you could look at the, my phone. OK, I'm going to yes. look at it. Were you supposed to go to the warehouse today? I was supposed to Were you supposed to pick up this truck? Can he talk to me at least? Okay. Can he be a gentleman and then talk to me and see what the problem is? I mean, can we? We're the middle party here. So you're going to talk understand. with me to, and we'll, we'll you know, figure okay. things out. So, um, so you said your phone? Can I open your phone? We can look through your phone? Yeah, it's easy. It's so we, he's going to show messages between you and him saying, yeah, come work out the mechanic uh, shop, yeah, all I, the above. I, I, and I even, uh, I even no, answer my question. Uh, if yes. we, 
I even went to his. Uh, I don't want to invade in your privacy, man. If you yeah, want me to open the phone, you know I'll open what? the phone. I mean, this is a straight setup. I mean, I, you know, he, everything was already ready for me. The keys were ready in the car for me and everything to get to get it worked on. So why why is it such? Why did it, why is this happening? Why, I'm just why? asking you if you if you can. You, like I said, your story. Can, can he come just talk? To I'm me like asking you, sir. Do you want to use your phone or not? Can we open your phone and see these no, messages? No, no, let's, let's don't do nothing. No? You do what you got, what you got to do. Okay. It's okay. That's fine. All right. Take him into jail. All right. It's all right. There's a God out there. I promise you that. I don't believe your story. Okay? Your story's all over the place. I'm, I'm not going to go with it. As of right now, you're going to be booked with possession stolen vehicle. Okay? I like working in the as a team with uh, my partners. We pride ourselves on getting guns and drugs off the street and uh, prevent violent crime here in the city of Marina Valley. Are right, we gonna make this uh, car stop? The car uh, registration and tags on the car is uh, expired. Hey, how you doing? Deputy Moe, Marina Valley Sheriff's Department. The reason why I stopped to use the registration tag is expired on the car. Oh yeah, I already yeah, paid for it. I just gotta put them up. I just got this car. You ID? Yeah. Can, Can you get it for me? Yeah. That'd be great. Thank you. You want probation parole, my man? No, sir. Anything illegal in the vehicle? Guns, drugs, bazookas? No, sir. Daughters that stay right here on the street. She lives right here? Yeah. All right. Give me two seconds, all right? Okay, 32 Murray times two for H&S out of Aruba. Systems only. Why, thank you. That's who we have. Dispatch let me know that he has a couple outstanding uh, misdemeanor warrants. So we're going to go ahead and uh, pull him out of the car and detain him for those outstanding warrants at this time. Hey, Jerry, can you step out for me right quick, my man? Step out? Huh? Say step out? Yes, please. What is that? You got a couple of misdemeanor warrants, my man. What is that? Oh, uh, no. Did they sharp one poke me, stick me, stab me? Uh, no, not on me. No. All right, that's good. Oh, I got a knife right there. Where's that? Right there? Yeah. Anything illegal on the car, buddy? Uh, no. Sure. Maybe just uh, uh, paraphernalia. Paraphernalia? Yeah. Oh, okay. For meth or what? Yeah. Oh, good. You want to just come over here and take seat for me, my man? Care ever take a quick look, get you out of here quicker? You guys got to do whatever you got to do. Appreciate that. Whoever is searching, though, I do got some uh, needles. Where are those at? In my backpack. Hey, Ma, he has needles in his uh, backpack. Oh, okay. In the front pocket, back pocket. Okay. You got diabetes or is that the paraphernalia? Uh, it's all right. You do meth or heroin? Uh, yeah. Meth? Yeah. You slam it? Yeah. You smoke it also or just slam it? Yeah, both. But... Supposed to be quitting like today or the 31st. The end of this month it was supposed to be my deadline. You know, I get myself. So. Why's it gotta be the 31st? I'm trying to get my family back. So why wait till the 31st, dude? It ain't that easy. Oh. I mean, for you saying, hey, I'm going to quit on the 31st, I mean, because it must be that easy. I, I was given, you yeah. know? Well, how old's your uh, kid? Uh, Congrats. Thanks. Nice. Are you guys taking me in or no? Let's just search the car real quick. As long as there's nothing crazy in there, man. All right. What's that thing? What? The black thing with the fuse or whatever. I can't see it. What is it? It's M1000. M1000? Yeah. What's that? Is that a firework? Oh, yeah, yeah I think I got a couple of these. What's that? They refer to it as an M M1000. I don't know how accurate that is, but M1000, they're usually like a quarter stick of dynamite. Explosive. They use for big kabooms on 4th of July. How long have you been using? Uh, we're consistent, like, about three years or something. Three years? You use every day? I mean, yeah, except for when I try to quit. You know, I take breaks whenever I try to quit for good, but... You ever try checking yourself into rehab or anything like yeah, that? Yeah, I went into rehab. Were you able to quit when you went in? Oh, when I was there, yeah. How long were you there? Like, two weeks. Well, I was supposed to be there for like six months, but I just couldn't, couldn't be, be away from my kids like that, you know? Well, I see a common theme with what you're saying here, man. Your kids, if it really boils down to your kids, you're going to quit. Uh, found 
a little bit. Looks like suspected uh, heroin. So you have the, the substance actually right here. The, uh, here's the actual heroin. And then uh, he has the paraphernalia in here, the syringes. And then he, uh, he says he injects it, injects the heroin. Okay. So what could happen is I could place you under arrest and take you into jail, book you in for that, your warrants, because you have warrants for drugs too. Okay. But I think for your kids' sakes, I think drugs from you. I know you said that you want to start on the 31st to not do drugs, but how about you start now for your kids, all right? Oh, yeah. You've been telling me that you want to quit for your kids. This is I'm giving you the opportunity instead of taking you to jail and not be able to see your kids tonight. If I catch you again, I'm probably not going to be so lenient because we're having this conversation. I'm cut, cutting you a break. Sure. Okay? Yeah. So I need you to really do this for your kids, man, if that's really what really what you want. Yeah. So I'm going to write you a citation for the drugs and the paraphernalia, and then I'm going to take the fireworks. You're not allowed to have those. You good with that? Yeah. You going to quit for your kids tonight, man? So prior to coming out to patrol, I worked the jails for three years and four months. Working the jails was, it was a good experience because you get to learn how to talk to different people, the lifestyles they live and where they come from, because everybody's a little different. So learning how to talk to people really goes a long way working out on patrol. It's like we're getting flagged down up here. We're going to go make contact, see what's going on. Officer, she tried to drive away with my car and got caught. Okay. I'm going to pull over down here. Have a seat. Have a seat. All right. Your car is still on. So what's... We got a pizza. We left in park with the car on. I went to go help her and see what she was going to get. I come back out. I see the car moving. Now look inside. This lady's in the car. I walk up to the window and she acts all casual like it was her car. I was like, what are you doing in my homegirl's car? She's like, my friend told me to get in it. Go ahead and stand right here real quick. All right. So... You guys don't know her at all? Never met her in my life. Never met her. I just got off of work, like, okay. not even 30 minutes. And then what happened? And then uh, we followed her down here to see, see why she was in the car and see if she even knew her, because she thought she might have knew her, but she didn't. So we were going to call the cops, and I kept tying her confrontation down so we hop back in the car and leave her alone, because obviously she... So this all occurred at the pizza it shop, and then what happened? It was still on drive. Oh, and then it just started rolling? Yeah, so I hopped in the car, I put it in park. And then I, I ran inside, tell her, like, this, this lady, and she ran down this street because I seen you guys slipping Yui. When she seen you slipping Yui right there, she ran. Okay. She got scared because she seen you guys slipping Yui right there. Okay. All right, man. Go in and switch seats real quick. All right. I know you heard all that. So what happened? Okay, I'm in the pizza store. I see my car literally in the middle when it should be by 7-Eleven. Don't move. Sit down. I see it there, and I see her get out, and I see him yelling at her. And I'm like, what the f I come outside and she she just hopped out of my car, taking it, and he said, she said someone told her to. Built everything back up, got a car, doing great. I'm not gonna lose that again. So, do you desire prosecution of her? Yeah, man. All right. What the is wrong with people? Oh, I, I get you there, 100%. Hey, hell no, this, not only is this my car, this is my boyfriend's car, bro. Where we sleep in that bitch. You open that trunk that has everything of ours in there. All right, let me go talk to her. Stand up for me, girl, real quick. Turn around real quick. Put your hands behind your back. I'm gonna ask you your side of the story, but right now you're being detained, okay? Just your phone and stuff? Let's start off with your name. What's your first name? What's your first name? I'm gonna have a female grab that in a minute. Okay, okay I'm okay. not gonna be reaching in your shirt and pulling all that I stuff I mean, out. it's better for me to do that. All right, well, then we'll wait for a female to do that, okay? I'm gonna have you have a seat on the curb real quick. All right, and we'll get into all that interview in a minute. Okay. Right there, have a seat. Have a seat. Need help? You got it? She's got a bunch of stuff tucked in her bra. Okay. Um, can you pull it out? It's got a it's her ID and all that other stuff. She uh and took off. I'm gonna pull. Bear with me, guys. We're gonna pat her down and then we're gonna put her in the car. Alright, so 
Based on your guys' statement, you desire prosecution, correct? I do and I don't. I'm angry. I'm going to tell you that. Well, I'm going to let you know. She's up there stealing your car. Yeah. Get, that's, that your, that's, that's your house, girl. Second Come on. Time, I'll be the second time you did that. And then on top of that, if you're leaving your keys in the car well, in an area like this, uh, that's a gift, gun. man. And there's a pit bull. That you're going to sleep it. It was not the Come on. Who was awake? I got two pit bulls at my house. You think I'm scared of that dog? Come on. No, no, no. This one, this one will rip your face. Ask him. He will rip know. your face off. Well, okay. This dog is a beast. He runs on three legs. He jumps <laughs> balls with three legs. He has one back leg. She got really lucky. All right. It's a good thing you didn't bite her. Sit tight for me. So, you know what you did? You know, while you're in the back of the car? I didn't steal my well, I did, but I didn't bite. I didn't bite nobody. I know that. So you did, but what? I didn't bite anyone. You didn't bite anybody? No, I just looked at the dog. Oh, okay. But you stole the car? I, I was trying to save myself and my sister. What's that? You're trying to steal it for yourself and your sister? No, I was trying to save it for myself and my sister. Uh, they've bought me hygiene things, anything. It so sounds like I It sounds like you're down on your luck right now. Yes. I yeah, really and you know what? I'm gonna let you know that lady's also down on her luck. I know. She's. Did you hear her story? She's had. She's been homeless too. She's currently homeless. Oh yeah, she told me. That's why I just stopped. I didn't want to yeah. argue. I thought I was, she maybe would understand, but yeah. I'm not trying to cause any harm problems. I just been right here. I'm frustrated. Yeah. Things have been taken from me, and it's like I don't have no control. Unfortunately, we got to take care of this right now. So right now your charges are going to be 10851, stolen okay. vehicle. Do you understand that? The fact that you moved the vehicle uh -huh. when you were not given permission to do so, if you're willing to do that. Uh, almost 23 years. I'm a street cop at heart. I love it. I do it. I like being out here where the rubber meets the road and being able to give back to the community that I grew up in. You know, in addition to that, I'm on the bomb squad, which I really enjoy. All that stuff keeps me busy all the time. and I wouldn't change anything. Yeah, so we're going to a call of two suspicious persons. Apparently they are up here by this church where a lot of homeless people tend to camp and they have apparently laid out five to 600 pairs of sunglasses. So we're gonna go see what's going on with that. I gotta let me speak, let me speak. I found them uh, with these uh, glasses uh, on the ground. And they told me that they found them in the trash. And you just saw these, and they've since picked them up here? Yes. So they had them on the ground. You know, I don't know what they're doing. They were sharing or something, but it's just, it's, it's a big amount of uh, <laughs> it sunny is. glasses. It is. OK, well, let me talk to these guys real quick. What's the deal here? I just saw uh, I'm just looking for some glasses. Uh, just looking for them? Yeah, I was riding by the drop box. By which, the, which drop box? Uh, right there by uh, Taco Bell. The ones where people uh, donate glasses for, no, please. Yeah, wear prescription glasses. So I uh, grabbed them, and I was going to, like, hand them out to people that were unfortunate, and, like, people that... Unfortunate people that needed sunglasses? Yeah, like sunglasses or prescription glasses. Or like whatever. lots of sunglasses? Yeah, like... Uh, it was like a, it shocked me when I seen this. I seen I'm shocked seeing them now. Yeah, exactly. Like, uh, like I've never seen like this many uh, sunglasses before. Yeah, you and me both. I mean, you probably thought what a windfall this was to hand out to your unfortunate friends. Correct? Yeah, exactly. Okay, so were these laying outside or were they in the bin? They're, uh, sitting outside. Mm. Like I rode by and I said, oh, I, I, I apologize for that. Like I, I mean, there's. Like, uh, when, like a donation thing, and we're homeless and stuff. Like, I figured that. I'm sorry. Okay, so is there proper routes to get that stuff uh, from the organization that, I, that provides it? I didn't Do you think they, if you walked into there and said, "Man, I could really use like five or six hundred pairs of sunglasses," they're going to give you five or six hundred pairs of sunglasses? I'm not, I'm not sure. Like, no, because you were going to try to sell these. I'm not. No, idiot. I'm not going to sell them. I Stop promise. It. I promise you, I wasn't going to sell them. Well, your promise means not much to me at this point. Like, this is, like, we have a vision, uh, like, I... And then you have these U-Haul blankets at U-Haul. Oh, yeah. I find that hard to believe as well. No, I swear. They, uh, said that we can use them. Sure. 
Uh, where do you find those? Were those in there too? Yeah, these were in there too. Okay, go ahead and leave those in there. Okay. Um, these aren't yours. Okay. Once they're donated, they become their property. Okay. You understand that? Do you have any more in your backpack? Yeah, I'll uh, take them all back. No, well, yeah, go ahead and take them out of the backpack there and okay. we'll deal with that. Okay. And you're going to pack these up onto your wagon. Mm -hmm. We're going to follow you as you take these back and donate them to the proper location where they came from. Okay. All right. So Do let's you have get... a garbage bag or something? Do you have a what? Do you have like a garbage bag or anything? No, you managed to get them over here. I'm trying to contact the number that was on the Dropbox over there to see if we can get a hold of somebody, see if they want to press charges for this or if they just want to get the property back. Apparently, these are taken from a clothing donation bin for uh, disabled people. I don't know why he needs all those sunglasses, but uh, I don't quite believe his story, so I think we're just gonna have him pick all these up at this point and take them back. He has two more bags. Uh... Is there more over there? Well, I don't, I don't know. Uh, there's uh, bags over there that he thought that were mine and they weren't mine. Okay, well, if they're, if they're not yours, then they're not yours. All right. Yeah. Try not to lose one pair. Thank you, sir. So, not gonna charge this guy. Um, can't get a hold of the victim. Um, if they decide that they want to charge him later, I've got their number and we've got their names. So, I don't know that it's gonna be an issue, but they're just gonna go put all this stuff back tonight. All right. But I, I think you're, I think you're pushing your luck there. So. I think you understand what not to do in the future, correct? Yes, I do. Okay, you're catching a break tonight, so. I understand you're homeless, but there are, there's three pairs on the ground there by your wagon. So what did we learn tonight? Uh, Stuff at donation bins uh, belong to the people that they're donated to. Yeah. And uh, I think you would agree that five to 600 pairs of sunglasses is uh, kind of uh, weird and awkward. Yeah. Sure. Uh, at the very least, it's weird and awkward. Okay. Do you understand you're catching a break on this, right? Yes, I do. Okay. If I was able to get a hold of them and they wanted to prosecute, you could be charged with theft for taking all these sunglasses. Okay, and as many sunglasses as there are, I don't know. I mean, they look to be like not high-end sunglasses, so yeah. I, I don't know, but uh, you'd be pushing, possibly pushing film again. Yeah. Growing up in the Bronx, New York, I always wanted to be NYPD but uh, my dream of being NYPD. But you know what, I'm, I'm the type of person where whatever's meant to be is meant to be, and um, this was definitely meant to be because I love this job. That person said he was, he saw his friend's stolen vehicle, a uh, Chevy Silverado lifted with a uh, toolbox in the back. Paris 254, I may have it. It's going to be on the dirt portion of Allen off of uh, Leon. Sir, let me see. Sir, let me see your hands. Hispanic male wearing a black mask. Green reflective vest. Static no black mask, green vest. He's calling the pursuit. We're going to try to catch up to him. Uh, he went into another cul-de-sac, came straight at us. We're trying to get uh, spike strips here and there. Uh, all right, speed up. 70 miles an hour across the double yellow line of our traffic. And, uh, are we good on the 245 on this ring? He's driving erratic. Kind of west on Mallow. Looks like you're on the brakes. I want to show which way he goes. All right, here, he's southbound, left hand turn, southbound. Do you know how brakes are around? Somebody on 74, let's try to get some spikes. He's probably going to go, uh... 187, I'm working my way over there with spikes. 
Okay, he, I guess he's not, doesn't have spikes, so. Stop moving around. I'm not. <laughs> you armed, dude? Any weapons? No. A couple of knives. <laughs> Get up. Let me pull my shoe off. No. Oh, man, you don't need your shoe right now. We'll get that in a minute, dude. <sighs> so what? What happened, man? What happened? Why did you run? Did you have permission to, to take this car? Do you want to speak to me? No. No? OK. Do you remember me? Yeah. Was it him? It is him? Yeah. Well, there you go. What's your answer? Brandon? Yeah. Is he OK? Yeah, he's fine. It was in front of her house. I spoke with her, um, and I thought you were going to get, yeah, you were gonna get rid of him. Yeah, I know, but I worry about him, you know? Well, he rammed somebody. Are they okay? He was riding on the on the other side of the road, you know. He and... disappoints me because it's like, really? What about us? You don't care about us? You yeah. don't care about our religion? You have a kid together, right? No. No? But, okay. You know what I mean? Like But uh, you have children over yeah, at the yeah. at the house. Yeah. But I'm saying like, you know what I mean? Like this is a disappointing for me. He went to the hospital just because he crashed and then he's gonna go to jail. Okay? I can't give you what, what jail, just for our safety. No, yeah, so. I know. That's all I wanted to know. All no. right. So, how are you? Stolen. It was stolen today about 1. We have the video of him, right? 1 1.30, yeah. Were the keys in it? Yeah, they're on the center console. Dude. Yeah, that's him. <laughs> that's he him. Just, he just walked in. You see him grab the keys on the center console, puts them in the ignition without any hesitation, and he just pulls out. And just pulls out like it's his. And drives off. That quick. All right, so that is the same man that uh, that we have in custody. Oh, that's crazy. Oh, that's crazy. Yeah. The guy just uh, unfortunately crashed your, your right, truck, right. but he's in custody, so nobody was hurt. Uh, it all worked out. My district knows how I am. There's nothing in between. I'm, I'm the same every day. How are you doing? Everything OK? You need anything? And that's just the way I work it, and they seem to like it, so. We're currently we do, uh, chasing a vehicle. Georgia is trying to set up spikes to get this vehicle stopped. So far, right, I think it's just two suspects in the vehicle. Uh, as we don't know really why, other than they don't have a tag on the vehicle. They've taken off on us. We're going to see where this guy's taking us now. We're not sure exactly where he's going to go. Getting off, getting off East Brainerd. I'm clear getting off at East Brainerd. We're gonna we're gonna try to box this guy in right, yeah, after, we, right after we pass this road. Slow down, slow down. I'm clear. I'm slowing him down. Okay, we're going into Hurricane Creek. Yeah, it's two females in the vehicle. Right now we got them in a neighborhood. They're pretty much lost. They're gonna end up at a dead end, I think. When you advise, you got spikes set up. At the end of the neighborhood? We got spot strips at the See, entrance of this neighborhood. Lanes, the blocks come over spot one two ways. So they're not gonna be able to See, exit. I'm clear. One. Not homecoming. I'm clear. Left on the homecoming. Restoration. Yeah, we're coming out. Yeah, we're going out. Clear back on homecoming. Good spikes. I'm clear on good spikes. Good spikes, good spikes, good spikes. Good spikes, good spikes. Back on the East Bay Road. 
Repoed. <laughs> you think we're gonna repo your car because it's not your car? Is it stolen? No. Repo, what are you feeding? Get in. Can you put the Get window in. down, please? No. No. We got this going on um, Jenkins Road. Took off kind of at a high rate of speed, so I figured it was running. They threw a cup of ice water at me when we were running. So I don't know if that had dope in it or not. Yeah. Uh, we're not finding anything. Some looks... prescription bottles. Seems like all that's legit. Yeah. A... I'm sure whatever they've had, they probably that? dumped it out. Okay. They got a couple scales. There's a grinder right there. Okay. Do you see them get stuck underneath the, oh, the second one? The spikes got stuck. Dude, they ran over the first one, and then the second one, it just got stuck underneath it. I tried to rip it out, but it wouldn't come out. But then I. We got blue lighting. Yeah, but why did you throw that ice I at I didn't me? throw the ice at you. She did? She did, yes. I'm I telling think you. it came out the passenger side. I prom it came out the sunroof. I promise to God, she threw it up on my life. On my daughter, it came out the sunroof. Bro. Really? Was she putting open or something Some, up? I don't know. I don't know. I've been telling her to let me the out the car. Like, I'm traumatized from a car wreck. I broke my back, and I got diabetes from a car wreck. Went into a coma for two two weeks, and I've been panicking the whole time. Freaking the out. You know her. Like, I'm shaky. Like, you, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm, I've am i been, like, panicking. Why do you think she ran? Because she's, she's on the run from her Mom, she's 17 goddamn years old. That's why she's tripping balls. I she's told her 17 she's right tripping. now. Yes, I told her she's tripping. She's a kid, bro. And I told her not to. I told her to let me the out the car that she was tripping. She had no reason to run. She just sent it to her. I swear to God, she will not listen to nobody. Hey, come out here and talk to me. I think EMS is here to check you out, anyways. What's your name? Kayla. Kayla. Mm -hmm. Why were you running? I like ran away from home and then I got kicked out. I get abused over there, mentally, physically, whatever you can say. So I tried to kill myself. And you know what they did? They, they grounded me for two weeks long and like just kept me in the house. Wouldn't let me come out of my, like, my room, nothing. So I didn't want to go back there. So when we got behind you tonight, because of that, you decided to run mm -hmm. real quick. You want her to sit here or y'all want to take her to the stretcher? OK, let's walk over to the stretcher real quick. I don't know the car's here. She's saying that they did not have permission to have the car. So we, what we need to do? Oh, yeah. Get a stolen vehicle report. That way you can charge her with the theft of it, too. So the driver's charge was stolen? And... Auto theft, evading, all the traffic charges. Passenger says that she didn't have any involvement. She wanted out of it the whole time. So we just released her. Cheyenne, what? come give me a hug. OK. Yeah. I love you. Love you too. Glad they stopped. No one got hurt. Couple flat tires. Be all right. 